is a new vid. Like it is a new vid. Subscribe is a new vid. Share is a new vid. Comment is a new vid. Like it new vid is a new vid. Share is a new vid. Subscribe. Hey guys, what is up? My name is Taekwon Nebula and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. Now, if you know me personally, you know I had a bit of a rough time in my first year of UE, okay? It was honestly a very bad time for me. But after a few years, I kind of decided, you know what? If I'm gonna do this degree, I am going to do something that I actually want to do. And then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna switch to film. And doing film has been an amazing time for me. Like I'm passing. And if you don't know what I mean by UE, I mean the University of the West Indies, the college that I am now at the university that I now attend. So in this video, I'm just gonna be talking about some things that I wish I knew in my first year of UE. And even if you're not a UE student, these tips could probably be transferred to anywhere, any college that you are actually attending. And if you're not a first year, don't worry about that. Maybe this is a video that you need to see so that you can now turn your university experience around and have the best time you can. And if you enjoy this video, you like what you see on this channel, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and tell a friend. Make sure to turn on my post notifications so you'll be notified every single time that I take one tablet post a video on this channel and do not forget to subscribe I'm trying to hit 10 thousand subscribers by the end of this year emotional damn it so we're gonna start with something that's actually specific to ue specifically kfil and i understand stuff is all online right now sadly enough and i know a lot of you first years and second years now weren't able to get your full ue experience but let me just give you somewhat of a warning okay whenever we get back onto campus you need to be aware and be afraid of the UE chickens. Now what is a UE chicken you ask? A UE chicken is a chicken that roams the campus of Cave Hill. For what I've heard, Mona has goats. I, I... Now I personally believe that UE chickens symbolize the experience of a Cave Hill student. But I also believe that UE chickens are the original antagonist in life. And for that reason, right, for a symbol to be so recognized and still hated at the same time, I think we should be known not as the UE blackbirds, but as the UE chickens. Now, why are these UE chickens feared, you ask? Well, if you have food in your hand and you are sitting on a bench on the campus, please do not feed the UE chicken. These UE chickens have a tendency to attack people with food, okay? They will invade your personal space and try to bully you for your own food. And if you have been on Kfield campus and you have not been attacked by a UE chicken, consider yourself lucky. Have you or someone you loved been attacked by a UE chicken? <laughs> this is, uh very hard for me to talk about. So one day I was just sitting at a bench on the lawn on campus, just, just waiting for my girlfriend to finish to finish school. And she's not really my girlfriend, but like she, she got a man, but she's not re really my girlfriend yet. Like, like we never do anything, like we never talk about it. Like she's my girl, but sh she ain't not yet. So I was, I was waiting there for like six hours and I just decided, you know what, let me just go up the hill, you know, go to campus smart and just, just get a hot dog, you know. So I walk back down the hill and I go and I, I, I sit by the bench. And I'm just there with my drink and, and my hot dog, right? I look away for a second and I look back at my hot dog and and, and this chicken is, is, is standing on top of my hot dog and my hot dog is still in my hand. I, and its foot is like literally in all the condiments. Why the chicken foot covered in mustard? Why why is the chicken's foot covered in mustard? Like I could just, like like he wasn't speaking or saying anything, but but I could tell from the look in his eyes that he was just saying, "Yo, like this hot dog is mine now." <laughs> and after that, like like nothing was the same. Like like I would go to Chafet and like I would see people eating chicken, and I would just, I would just start sweating for no reason. Like. Call 1-800 deep fry with the side of barbecue sauce and protect your loved ones today. My first year was terrible because I was doing something that I didn't want to do. So my advice for this one, make sure to pick a degree, make sure to pick something you really want to do. Now, when I got into university, I was actually doing biology. And the reason why I was doing biology was because that was all I was exposed to. Like I literally got into BCC doing biology and I did sciences for basically my whole life. And at that point in time, I was interested in film, I was interested in movies, but I had never wanted to commit to my creative 
pop. Which in hindsight was a terrible idea because I would have been finished UE all now. And I understand some people at home, they have problems with this because their parents are giving them pressure to do something. And usually if it's a creative something or something that they don't see as a career or is gonna make them money, like their parents are very steadfast in them not doing it. But trust me, right? I'm talking to the parents right now. It does not make sense, right? You pressuring your child to do something that they don't want to do. It does not make sense sending your child to university to do something that they don't want to do. They're just wasting money. You're just wasting money. Your child is going to be stressed and then they're going to resent you. You're not doing what you think you're doing. And I understand as a parent, you want to make sure that your child is set for life because you're not going to be here forever. But just remember, if your child finds something that they want to do, they will be happy. They will be happy in what they're doing, even if they're stressed because university naturally is stressed. But it's way more stressful to study a degree or be in a place that you don't want to be. At least it will be easier on you because nobody else is studying your degree. It is you that gotta do the work. Now I realize, right, there's a bit of a trend when it comes to Beijing Cave Hill students, right? Or just Beijing students in general. We just see school as school and that is it. Then we're gonna go to school. We're not gonna talk to anybody. We're not gonna make any friends. We're not gonna do any of that. We're just gonna go to school and that's school and our personal life and our school life. It should be separate. Now I'm not telling you if that's how you prefer things to be, that is up to you. But let me just give you a bit of advice. I only started enjoying Yui when I actually started to try to make friends. <laughs> I've only viewed this place as a place of suffering and I need to make sure that it's not that. I need to make sure that I can at least look back on this time at Yui and be like, you know what? I had a good time. And you guys are probably like, okay, so how do we make friends, right? And I know this might start sounding like a K-Field advert or something, but it, I promise you it's not, okay? They're not paying me to make this video. If you do want to pay me though, they, yeah. Like there's so much clubs that you can join at school. I remember the time that I started enjoying school. The moment that I decided, right, that I was gonna join the Barbados Student Association, that is when things started to become really good on campus. Literally through that, I found like all of these different activities and all these different things that were happening on campus that I never knew about before. Like in September, literally every single week, different student associations have parties. They have different things you can go to. They have open mic. They have cooking competitions. They have game shows. Like there, there's so much things and activities that you can go to on campus. And I hate that can't, that this thing is online. I'm so sorry guys. But and the most important thing about it is you cannot just view school as school. At any day, there are millions of people doing the same degree that you are doing. But what is going to set you apart is the connections that you're going to make. And like I said, I understand right now it's a bit hard because things are online, sadly enough. And school doesn't hit how it hits online versus how it hits in person. Like I will always say, the best fet that I've ever gone to has been UE Val. Hundreds upon thousands of students, right? From different countries, from different backgrounds, all listening to Soka and having a good time. It was amazing. And since I have been going to UE, I have gone to all of them. Because I was like, you know what? I do not want that when I remember this point in my life, that is just school and stress. And I hate that this shit is online. Online school is ruining all of that for us. I totally get that. But hopefully soon, school is gonna be in person and that is the video guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe share and tell a friend make sure to turn on my post notifications so you'll be notified every single time that i type one doublet post a video on this channel and like i said do not forget to subscribe 10,000 by the end of this year that's what we are hoping for that is what we're trying to do and yes these are things that i wish i knew in my first year i am still at university still experiencing it still learning new things and if you want me to do a part two just let me know. My name is Taekwondo Blit. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. And stay awesome. Stay weird. See ya.
fire's burning like you Well, if you keep hoping for a bitter small move Just go dancing in the rain